A Belgian rapper of Congolese origin, Balo G, is rehearsing for a Saturday night performance at the Royal Flemish Theatre. After immigrating to Belgium, he was separated from his mother for 25 years before she was finally able to make contact with him. He says his recently released album, Hotel Impala, was his attempt to bring her up to date with his life. I tried to answer by, by letter, but I could not find a word or a nice way to express myself and to give her the right answer because I, I was like, I had so many lives. Um, I went to so many different things and I was a little bit ashamed also. Um, so I had the idea to do it with some music. It is stories like Balogis that inform the wide repertoire of the Royal Flemish Theatre known as the KVS. Sandwiched between a red light district and a largely immigrant neighbourhood, the KVS has lent its stage to artists of many ethnic backgrounds, including Maghrebi and African, many of whom are French-speaking. The theatre's performances, which used to serve mainly Flemish audiences, are now often presented with French and English translations projected or integrated as part of the stage set. These efforts are all the more striking, given Belgium's bitter linguistic divide. Artistic director Jan Goosens argues no community can afford to isolate itself from the reality of Brussels today. We try and develop an artistic project, a repertoire, that this um, entire city um, can hopefully identify with and that is also accessible to uh, as many communities as possible um, in using that, that multilingual approach. For sociologist Nadia Fadil, what makes the work of the KBS so important is that the theatre is using its power to decide what is legitimate art and what is not. By constantly renegotiating these boundaries, by questioning those boundaries, by um, programming um, productions that would never get into the mainstream in, through the gatekeepers, I think that's really the more groundbreaking work that is being done, more than only reaching out towards the communities because stick to censor that is not really its job. For Balogi, the fact that the KBS invites artists like him to perform sends an important cross-cultural signal. The Flemish community is really small in Brussels, especially in this neighborhood with a lot of African, uh, American people. Um, so they're doing a big statement. And to make a, a French artist playing in a Flemish um, place, venue, just make it like a strong statement. If the role of a national theatre is in part to preserve a nation's culture, then the KVS has gone a step further. It's striving to redefine Belgium's cultural landscape as a place where minorities have an equal voice on stage. And judging by KVS audience numbers alone, there's an overwhelming demand for encores. In Brussels, Nina Maria Potts for VOA News.